Tim Anderson from the ICC. Welcome to Bermuda. Uh, to your left, uh, can you just explain to the public what we're in the presence of? Sure, I can. Um, this is the uh, the ICC World 2020 Trophy. Um, on its world tour, it's been all around the world uh, in the lead up to the ICC World 2020 in Sri Lanka uh, to kick off in September. And uh, it's here in Bermuda for the next couple of days, so it's uh, very exciting for the local cricket public. Now let's talk about the the ICC um, and their global the global game itself. Um, you're looking to expand it, get the associates back in. Um, what has been the talk about around the ICC of including more associates in World Cup ventures such as the 2020 and the 50 over? Yeah, it's it's a very relevant question. Um, this event in Sri Lanka has 12 teams um, in it, which includes 10 full members and two associate or affiliate members. The 2014 tournament, though, in Bangladesh um, will be 16 teams, so four extra teams. So we'll have six associate and affiliate members uh, vying for positions there. Um, Neil Spate, who is the, the CEO of uh, Bermuda Cricket Board and also a director of the ICC, had a very big role in making that change. Um, and obviously, in terms of opportunity, it's a, it's a very important change that's been made and we're, we're very happy about it. Um, there'll be qualification tournaments taking place over the next nine to 12 months um, for teams to get through through to that, that event um, and Bermuda will have a, a great opportunity to qualify for the World 2020 and 2014 in Bangladesh. Now you're also using this trip to uh, talk about the 2013 Pepsi uh, World Division 3 that's going on here. What are some of the things that you'll be looking for uh, in preparing for that, that tournament? Sure. So that Obviously, it's, it's, it's very important to note that, that that's 50 over cricket. Um, 20 over cricket, we've got the World 2020, and 50 over cricket, we've got the World Cup. So we're very lucky in terms of cricket as a sport that has two avenues to, that you can play at the highest international level. Um, and the World Cricket League Division 3 will be held uh, here in Bermuda in April next year. Um, so part of my visit will be to look at some of the venues. Um, we'll be going around and, and considering which venues could possibly be used. Um, our event manager um, from ICC will actually come across later in the year and do a more substantial recce visit um, where a lot of the things will be covered off. But uh, it's a great opportunity for me with the trophy to come along and, and get a, an understanding of the passion and enthusiasm for cricket that exists here in Bermuda. And I've only been here a few hours, but you can already sense that it's fantastic. Uh, on to... ICC development of the sport, uh, especially in the associate and affiliate countries. Um, what direction is the ICC going in in ensuring that the associates and the affiliates get an opportunity to play for trophies such as the one to your left? Sure. So again, the expansion of, of the events, more teams playing is obviously very important in terms of um, performance. But in terms of participation, which is also very important, the ICC has a, a new strategic plan over the next five years that's aiming to make cricket a bigger, better global game. Um, the bigger part of that um, is about getting more people playing cricket. Um, and we have a goal amongst associate and affiliate members to get one million more participants involved in our sport over the five year period. Um, it, it equates to about 23-24% growth year on year. We achieved that in the first year of our plant last year, so that's very good. Um, and we'll hope to, to achieve that goal by 2015. So participation, getting more people involved in our sport is very important. And we see 2020 as a great vehicle for that. It's a shorter version of cricket. It doesn't require nearly as much time for people to either watch it on television or play it. Um, it it's, a, it's a great uh, opportunity that's provided through 2020. Now, currently the under-19 uh, 50 over World Cup is going on and we see some of the minnows uh, taking part. Um, is that what the ICC originally wants to see, some of the lesser countries getting up with the big boys and being able to participate and put their best foot forward? Sure. Um, they haven't performed perhaps as well as they would have liked to um, in, the, in this particular tournament, but it is very difficult. They're playing some very, very good players. Um, a lot of that opportunity, though, is just about getting experience um, against playing effectively first-class cricketers, and in some of the full members, players that have probably played international cricket at a senior level already, so the quality of play is very, very high. Um, there's a, a second phase to this tournament which will start soon, um, which is the plate phase where a lot of the associates will play each other and also a couple of the lower four members. So hopefully we'll see their performances improve over time. But again, at that age, at under-19 level, it is largely about learning and experience and they'll take those experiences through to them as they get into their senior sides over the next few years. Well, thank you very much for your time and I do appreciate it. Thank you.